I, I, we were bowled over when we heard about this. But I'd like to mention some other stories because they were, they were a delight. Uh, one was the tale of Roop Kumari by Anu Kumar, which talked about uh, uh, ladies going out of a Rajasthan village and sort of never returning. Then other, it was very hallucinatory. And then it struck me, of course, Rajasthan <coughs> mirages. So it's a story almost symbolizing mirage. There was a lovely story from the Northeast called Pema Tsering tells the story. Uh, there was another a daily triptych by Amitabha uh, Bhakji, House and Wives by Richard Saplani, and many others. Uh, before I wind up, I would wish Jant. It goes as Mr. Darwala explained for the short story, Sunan. Jain Sankritana is an automobile designer based in Pune. He suffers from what he refers to as an unpredictable, uh, as unpredictable bouts of writing. He also maintains a close interest in jazz and classical guitar, science and technology, evolution and world history. His genres of choice include science fiction and vaguely metaphorical short stories. Tsunami which won him the little magazine New Writing. So when I met uh, Jain Sankritana, uh, I said to him, please continue the good work, write very good stories. But please leave. concentrated and caught in attractive physical detail and therefore as though there is really no such difference between uh, the end of the world and uh, passing physical attraction. I mean this is uh, unnecessary literary analysis but uh, the story is really very very remarkable and I'm really quite impressed that it's, it's, your, it's your first published work. I really feel that your bouts should be more consistent and <laughs> less unpredictable. It strikes me um, when I look at these three, I mean, apart from the fact that they have been very distinguished and I made mean, this enormous contribution, is that they all have one common feature. They all have been attacked and attacked fiercely in public. They've been attacked for various reasons and sometimes almost physically attacked. Shamsu Rahman knows this. Uh, Vijay Tendulkar has been threatened with what? Has, having his neck cut off or something. And, you know, Vijay Tendulkar, to comment on this fact, how do you relate your rather stormy public life with your writing and how has it influenced you? In the heart, there have been real writers. Girish linked me up with them, and let me tell you that uh, I never wanted to be a fighter, not a fighter basically. But for some reason my writing, which I wrote with a certain conviction, I didn't want to ruffle feelers, I didn't want to raise talks, I didn't want a controversy, because I always felt that a controversy does more damage to a creative work than probably uh, can be an advantage to it. But let me tell you that unfortunately I write for a controversy. And probably what writes or creates reasons and does a lot of damage to a creative creation. So I never invited you. We resemble the debris of a storm, crippled a little. I'm not talking about Mr. Sid Tendulkar. He looks more preserved than both of us. But we are fighters and we have come back from the war. But we cannot return forever. We return the next day back to the battleground. 
because we fight another cause to fight for. We are hated, feared, and rarely, very rarely, we are loved. We see that the young people come to us offering love, and we are grateful. And perhaps our lives are turbulent. My life is a turbulent ocean, but I have been seeking the inner core, the peaceful inner core, and perhaps I suspect that it is God that I am seeking. Thank, thank you, Antara, little Antara, with her very efficient team, who first surprised me with her magnificent magazine, which I call the best year. I did call, call her on the phone and congratulate her. That was probably two years ago or three years ago. And then I sent her a poem and I admired her. I saw her on TV recently and I was very happy. Should go on what he believes in. And that makes him a good writer, a brilliant writer, who takes his country, his people, to new things and new order, which make the country a better country than many ordinary countries. I don't want to uh, uh, tell more, more because I'm not in good health. I help coming here because I was rather uh, what to say, I can say, I want to. Thank you. Let me say how grateful we all are that you Indians. There were the Europeans. I went to the European school called St. Zelia's and I sang the national anthem, not ours, but rule Britannia. So it was easier for me then to write in English. Later, I went to my village, studied Malayalam and began to write, but that came much later. I started writing in Malayalam only after my 18th, my 17th birthday. That's why I wrote in English first. Red envelope that you saw in the tree occasionally uh, carries that. And uh, um, New Writing, Award for New Writing also carries, apart from the sculpture, a cash award of rupees 30,000. I think it's only fair that since we are here to meet all the celebrities that are there, I should read out the names of um, the jury, uh, who are the jury that's been responsible for announcing, for coming to this conclude, uh, to these awards. Uh, I'll read out the names and after that I'll request them to come and take a bow, as it were. With that, we'll close the evening. Uh, the jury members are Professor U. R. Anant Murthy from Kannada, Sri Gulzar from Urdu and Hindi, Professor Navnita Sen, Dev Sen from Bengali, Srimati Mrunal Pandey, Hindi, Dr. K. Sachidanandan from Malayalam, uh, Srimati Zahida Hina from Pakistan, Srimati Selena Hossein from Bengal, and the jury for, from Bangladesh. Oh, I said, what did I say? Bangladesh. Bangladesh. I, I shouldn't be here doing this thing at all. Um, so I, I apologize. Yeah, for South, well, the whole thing is for South Asia anyway. And the jury for the new writing prize is Sri Keki N. Darwala, uh, uh, English. Uh, Mr. Upam, Upamanyu Chatterjee, that's it, the English. <laughs> and, and Srimati Lakshmi Kannan, uh, Tamil and English. She writes in both these languages. Professor Anand Murthy isn't here, but the other members of the jury, I think, are here. May I request them to come and sort of present themselves and take it up? Please come.
Two of them are missing. Uh, Renal Pandey hasn't come and uh, you are on the hasn't come. But let me say again how grateful we are to the jury for making this evening.